This is a short instructional video on how to remove and replace the wheel bearings in an Evo scooter. Remove the wheel from the scooter and get it on a suitable working space and then firstly remove the brake sprocket. I've already removed two screws for quickness and I'm going to put on there a B for brake. This is to ensure that when we reassemble it we're putting the, the brake on the right side because it, there is a difference. Now if it's a rear wheel also you can remove the sprocket Again, I've already removed two screws for quickness and put it out of the way. Right, and I'm going to put a C on there for chain as well, just to be on the safe side. Right, the first thing to do is, if you shake it, you might find that the center spacer is actually loose and by holding it you can get it to one side. If not, if it's tight, then just get a screwdriver and just pry it to one side so that the lip of the spacer is exposed. Because we're going to use this lip to actually drive the bottom bearing out and just pushing it to one side. And using the wheel spindle out of the scooter, you should be able to push it in and locate it onto the lip of that spacer. And it's a case of driving it out. You may have to... Uh, Hit it a couple of times. There we go. That's the bottom bearing come out, and also at that point the space will drop out as well. So we'll just put those to one side for now. Then we'll turn it over, and by using the head of your bolt. We're just going to place it right in the centre of that bottom bearing and just tap that out all. Right. Okay, the, the best thing to do is uh, clean the surfaces. If you've got some uh, turpentine or methylated spirits or some kind of solvent just to degrease it and clean the two bearing faces. as such and you take your new bearings and again just give them a quick wipe to degrease them one down there wipe to degrease Allow that to dry for a second. Now, if you have got any bearing fit available, then by all means use it. It, uh, it helps to uh, solidify the, the bearing in, into its seat. If not, it doesn't matter. It should be tight anyway. But um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to put one band of bearing fit around the outside of the bearing. And I'm going to locate it in place. Now there's, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can actually just carefully tap it round with a, with a hammer. You may be able to use a, a nice square flat block of wood to tap it as such. Or if you've got anything metal around about 25 mil in diameter, that kind of works the best because it's working on the outside of the bearing and not to risk damaging it. Now the important thing is that, that that bearing has got to get it going square. It, it's no good just kind of banging away on it. What you need to do is just tap around. If it's going down square, you'll feel it going in easily. But if it tightens up, the best thing to do is, is look very carefully at both sides of the bearing and you'll see that maybe it needs a tap on one side more than the other. And once it starts to go in, it should go in pretty easily. Again, I'm just going to tap that so it goes all the way home. Then we turn the wheel over. Don't forget the spacer, very, very important. That spacer must be in there. 
drop it onto the bearing that you've just put in. Then the same scenario, I'm going to take the new, another new bearing, you just put a band of bearing bit on it and put it into place. Um, another, another thing you could do if, if you're struggling for something to actually tap the bearing with, you could actually use the old bearing by putting that on top and tapping around it. So I've just located that in place. Now I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tap around it. Again, that's all locked up, so something's out of square. Yeah. Yeah, even on the left hand side, but there we go. Tighten up again. going in square now so what we're going to do is just tap it all the way home you'll hear that solid sound when it's uh, reached its uh, bottoming point now that spacer ideally should be just slightly loose so that it allows it to move around and the spindle can find the, the center of the spacer So, then really it's a case of just replacing your brake disc, B for brake, so the brake goes on that side. Put the three screws in. Again, if, if you have um, any kind of thread locking compound, it's always better to just put a, a slight uh, spot of thread compound on these three screws and really tighten them down. Again, the same, same with the uh, sprocket side. A little bit of uh, thread locking compound if you've got it. And really tighten them down. As such. And then that's basically it. Your, uh, your wheels now ready to go back into your Evo scooter.